my name is Jim St. Leisure. Today I'd like to take a moment to talk to you about packet processing and the design of telecom equipment. If you look historically to most telco boxes, they're purpose-built equipment dedicated to do one task and do that task very, very well. But if you look at the challenges of today's network and 4G and starting to talk about 5G designs with a world filled with exploding number of mobile devices and huge amounts of data-driven traffic, those kind of purpose-built designs really aren't going to fit the needs of tomorrow. You'll see a lot of talk today about trying to move to standard high-volume servers. Now, these kind of transitions are something that also are happening in the world of network functions, virtualization, or NFV. But how do you get from where we are today to where we want to be tomorrow? And the promise of tomorrow is really to deliver services much, much more rapidly for the service providers and give them a network that's both scalable and flexible and has some level of elasticity to it. I'm going to talk a little bit today about something my team's been working on called the Intel Data Plane Development Kit, or Intel DPDK, and how it's helping this transition become possible. So the Data Plane Development Kit, as I mentioned, DPDK, is really all about using standard Intel architecture processors with a set of software libraries on top of it to give you much higher performance. So let me share with you some data on what that performance number looks like. So if you were to, if you were to look at the baseline at a standard Linux networking stack, and let's call that the baseline of one, and then go and compare that to what you'll get by running it on top of the data plane development kit, you'll get approximately a 25x multiplier in performance. And this performance is measuring really small packet performance. So these are 64 byte layer three forwarding as a metric to try to see where we're at. And these changes you see here, this 25x performance happened roughly over the past, let's say five years or so. And I should say it's 25x plus because we're constantly improving our software. And these advantages you get here really are a combination of IA processors, Intel CPUs and chipsets overall, plus the software, plus DBDK overall. And this is now allowing you to run these kind of packet workloads on standard high volume servers and have extensibility and flexibility. This software runs on everything from our Atom platforms to our core platforms to our highest performing Xeon platforms. And this model, by the way, can then all be moved to a virtual machine to implement NFE solutions directly. So I hope you can see this is giving you lots and lots of flexibility. And we have a lot of people that are working with us today, people that have gone public and talked about this, people like NEC that's doing uh, cloud EPC solutions, people like ZTE, people like Brocade and Viata that are doing soft router solutions, and then people like China Mobile that are taking these out in the marketplace and trying them out to be leading edge on network functions, virtualization implementations. From a standpoint of where you go to work on this, there's two, two areas I'd like to point you. So first and foremost is our ecosystem. In our ecosystem, we have Tiedo, Wind River, Six Win, and CalSoft. These companies are providing services and solutions based on the DPDK running on Intel. From there, you can also go out and get more information at intelgot.com forward slash go forward slash DPDK. I'm very excited about the possibilities of what DBDK plus IA can do for your packet workloads, and I think you will be too. Thank you.